hi guys today i am going to show you how to make a uh, angular application to fetch an api from uh, url so first of all you just need to install this command so this is npm install generate angular cli and the second step what should you do that you just need to create an application and angular so i am using ng new and uh, it is my application name about the fetch api so this is ensure you that the stricter bundles budgers the workspace so yes and uh, yes this is the css including in my component so i add it here so now you have to go to your towards your directory or the cd fetch api so i already make it and now create this command ng serve it runs your application on the browser so how can you run this you just need to add the url about the local host 4200 so now it compiles successfully and my interface of the project is here so this is a local host 4200 and uh, i just want to remove all kind of widgets because we don't need to use in our application to fetch an api so you have to see this directory and now go towards on the app.component.html here we have already add the code this is the default code when you create an application in angular it shows the styles and html dom so we don't need this just remove this style tag and toolbar also as you can see the result i remove all the widgets it shows interface like that on tend and the router outlet also okay we do, we don't remove this so now i'm just testing here uh, i just add the heading tag to show the result my application is running or not pi from url now you can see this fetch the result here i am align the text this is align attribute I just need to center yes it works in the next step this is the definition of an api this is allows you to uh, make the programming interface and i'm just using the subscribe method and http client so it get the result and it get the response from an api so you need to add this module http client into your module dot app app dot module dot type script angular bracket http client from angular cli so you just need to import this http client module into the imports Uh, uh, below the app routing module http client module and now you have to add this uh, library into your component.ts file so it already created by the angular default so i have a app.component.ts so you just need to import this library into the app dot component dot ts so here i am importing the http client common dot http and uh, now you just need to call the on init because i am using the latest version of angular so you need to create the constructor 
and implements this hook on in it on in it means that this is the initialization of application uh, when you create an object which so initialize it so i am using this uh, class on in it and here we have a, a constructor you just need to pass the parameter in the private modifier http double colon colon with http client please make sure your application in the formatting manner so here i am using the ng on in init void in the body of void uh, i don't need this title so remove it the title is actually about your website uh, website title so this is the method of ng on in it and uh, in the body of this i create this dot http dot get method get method works it takes the url of an api and fetch the result from an array object so i am added the comments for understanding the code this is for the response from API here I am using the method of subscribe this subscribe method is allows the response and uh, response has an object and array the list of the values so why we make the response variable because I am just using the loader in the span tag so when the response hit the method will call hide loader function to hide loader that loader so now we need to create the function of hide loader hide loader parameter okay fine in the body of idle loader i am just taking the id from the html so this is the span tag uh, the loader is the id of the span tag dot style dot display equal to null it's mean that none you are familiar with the style sheets so i'm already defined and the time of initialization of my application the loader shows nothing so here we do add the condition about the if response it takes a response of an object from an api so hide loader function will initialize it now we need to create the variable about the li it's mean that it takes the whole object whole values in an object and this is the list it's an array declaration it's an empty array and all the values initialize it into this array in the console.log i just want to see the dev tool my uh, values is coming and uh, the response is coming in from an api so that's why i just add the console.log so here we have this dot li dot equal to response and assign this dot li as equal to this dot li dot list list is the data set you can say that this is an json uh, variable so i'm just using the list it is also defined in my api so here we just need to add the url of an api where the data is coming from so now you can see there is the top of the array list you see the list variable and uh, this is list property this list property fetch the response from an api so this is my url so you can also use this url monkey.io v2 
and this is the tokenization so here we can say that and we just need to render the api into the html table by using ng4 this is the loop and we just need to create the table of body so we get all the responses from an api and go to the html and just i am adding the heading of registered employee so the second thing we need to add the table so first you need to create the loader so I have a container about the div in this div I'm just mentioning the class of dflex if you install the bootstrap in your application it takes all classes from the bootstrap and is already defined into the bootstrap library so I have justify content center so it's a loader it binds to the API response here we have a class of the spinner like a border and uh, role is the status what the status of an API it's load the data or not we have a class called SAR only and ID I has been mentioned into the get element by ID loading and loader so here we have mentioned the table so you need to create the columns into the table so you their data visualization is good so I'm creating the table here we are table ID is equal to the tab and what should be the class here we have a class called table the T head is the parent of rows and we have a rows what property is coming from the API and this scope is about the column it's also mentioned into the bootstrap so now you can see this we have a name position office and salary this property heading we mentioned into the table of heading and uh, position and the third one is salary you just need to copy and paste it the table of heading element and add the heading of your API property as you can see all the properties are there the position office and salary we don't need to use the fifth column so remove it and now create the table of body in the table of body you just need to create the row table of row here we need to add the logic of ng4 which is rendered your record from an api so let means e means an object of an array and list where the data is coming from table of data In the table of data you just mention the object and get the property by using this angular braces e dot name first column is name e dot position this is the second column as I mentioned above e dot office
and the third one fourth one is e dot salary as you can see this is the list and this is an object so html work has been done so here you can see this is an error about the object null so what should you do that you just need to sort out because it's not effect on your api so it takes a null object this is your uh, you can say that it's an easy to solve it but i leave it for you you just need to do that uh, take an object without null right and why object is null so now you can see this here we have a result all registered employees are fetched from the url which we add in the app.model.component so now we can see into the dev tool also here we have a response and the object here we have a list of an object and now you can see this is all the json data just coming from an api so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you have any query regarding this video you may comment below and ask me anytime so i mentioned it this is the red button subscribe yeah i'm just making this heading is look like this right thank you so much for watching this video subscribe my channel stay tuned Goodbye.